Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm showing you how to install and use Melon DS on your computer. Now, some of you know that I have been doing DS related streams with Pokemon Hard Gold. For that, I actually use Desmume, but the last update is in 2022. And apparently Melon DS is the best DS emulator right now. But let me know in the comments if you also want a guide on how to use Desmume. For now, Melon DS, the last update so far from the dev is very recent. He is completely burnt out. He did had surgery late 2024. Anyways, this is the recommended DS emulator. So let's get right into it. On the website, which is linked down below, press download Melon DS, and it will give you options for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Now, if you're on an Android phone, or maybe even Apple Store has it, look for Nintendo DS emulator, and you should find one there. If you guys want a guide on that, let me know in the comments as well. I'm gonna press Windows X64, and you will get a zip file. You can press on the zip file, and in there will be melonds.exe. But because it's a zip file, I want to right click it and press extract all. It will make its own little folder, press extract. And now in this Melon DS Windows folder, we have the Melon DS EXE. Run the EXE and voila, very nice. It even says file open ROM to get started. But before we do that, let's go through the config. So let's go to MU settings first, console type, DS or DSi. DSi is experimental, so I recommend DS. Boot game directly, DS mode, you can change the firmware to a custom one if you want. On DSi mode, you can also do that. You can do stuff with the SD card, etc. Just look into it. CPU emulation, I'm not gonna mess with these settings. DLDI, this is more for homebrew, so I'm not gonna touch it. And dev tools is for mostly devs, so I'm not gonna touch it. Now press OK here, and under config again, we go to input and hotkeys, this is very important. Right now, our joystick mappings and stuff is not set up. Let's start with the upper D-pad, press the word none, and I just press the up D-pad on my Xbox controller here. I'm gonna do the same for left, right, down, select, start, X, Y, A, and B, as well as the triggers. And if you have a keyboard, you can press switch to keyboard mappings and then set it up the way you want. Now, also make sure your joystick here is selected. Then if we go to add-ons, here you can do some extra buttons. I don't exactly know what this is. And general hotkeys, here is your keyboard hotkeys that you can also set up. Now I'm gonna press okay and go to config again. As you can see, Melon DS did just make a TOML file, which is probably a config file. Now let's go to config again. Video settings, also very important. Now 3D renderer, I'm gonna stay on software because I think it's gonna be the most accurate, but if you go to OpenGL, you can actually upscale this 10X even. I'm gonna try that. I don't recommend it. I recommend just staying on software and not upscaling it. I'm gonna turn on VSync just in case. I'm gonna press okay. We go to config again, this time for camera settings. Now you can actually link a camera, which is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna do that. It's kind of creepy. This is for the outer camera. You can set another camera for the inner camera. Now press okay config and we go to audio settings which is also important interpolation i'm going to keep it on none bit depth automatic volume i'm going to put it down a little bit now the external microphone you can pick the correct microphone for you press ok back to config and multiplayer settings now i would not touch this i haven't tested this so i don't know if it works wi-fi settings i think indirect mode is fine don't touch that now firmware settings here you can change your username, language, birthday, the color, and a message, and even set a MAC address. I would leave it empty and just press OK. Now for interface settings, if you want a certain theme, you can change it here. You can even hide the mouse after inactivity if you want to record, and you can pause the emulation when the window is not in focus. I'm actually going to turn that on, that's really good. Now target FPS. Standard is 60, I'm gonna keep it on 60. Fast forward, I'm gonna press 3x. Now slow-mo, I'm actually gonna use 1 4th. I'm not gonna use slow-mo probably. I'm gonna press okay. And then here, path settings, save files path, really important. Now I have my Pokemon save files from 2010 here, which is crazy. I'm gonna select that. And then the cheat files and the save states, you can also select those. I'm gonna press okay. And now save state settings separate save files, you can 
check this as well. If you have a little rudder or whatever. Limit frame rate, I'm keeping it on and audio sync. I'm actually gonna turn that on as well so it's both checked. Now under view, screen size, I'm gonna go for 3X because 4X is a little bit too big. Screen rotation, I would not mess with this, but you can do it. Screen gap, if you don't want them to sit flush with each other, you can choose the amount of pixels. Screen layout, natural, vertical is basically natural, I'm pretty sure. And then you have a horizontal, the screens will be side to side. And hybrid, I'm not sure what that is. Just check these out separately while you're in a game. Screen sizing, you can make one screen bigger than the other, so emphasizing the top screen. You can even choose top only or bottom only screen, I wouldn't do that. Now, aspect ratio, I would go for the native 4x3. I'm not sure what would happen if you would go 16x9 on the top. I kind of want to find out. And then the bottom, I'm just going to try 16x9 just to see what happens. Now let's go to file and open a ROM. Now I'm just going to boot Pokemon Black. So it works, but it's a bit stretched. So I recommend the native aspect ratio on both screens. Now I have this beautiful graphics issue here. So I'm going to change my settings to the safest ones and see if it fixes this. So video settings, OpenGL Classic seems to already work way better. Okay, so this actually looks crazy sharp. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks crazy sharp. I didn't expect it to look this good. So yeah, there you have it. Please leave a like, comment down below if this works so other people know. Subscribe to the channel. And if you have any issues, please join my Discord server. Or if you want to hang out with me and others, follow my Twitch because I'm going to be doing Pokemon randomizer streams. And uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. See ya.